Hello everybody, welcome to another day of a hundred days, days challenge. Uh, this challenge uh, is about some easy projects to do, something what you can do daily, uh, something what you can create in, in short time. On the fifth day, we do have a Rolodex card, uh, altering ro the Rolodex card, and I don't have a Rolodex cards, but what I do have is this beautiful die. Uh, I bought it last year or year before, and I maybe I used that once. This is from Studio Light. I think it's three years old die. They released many types of them, many shapes of them. Really beautiful dies. So I'm going to be using this one and I'm going to be using what we have created at the first day, this collage sheet. And I'm going to cut my Rolodex cards from this collage sheet. And as you can see, this Rolodex card has three layers, which is, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to try to work with that somehow to do it some somehow interesting for me. And um, I'm going to start to dig in in my newspapers. I bought another one. <laughs> already read them all so now I can scrap them all and I'm gonna uh, choose some words or some letters so something T here is one two three T so maybe T what we have next this is nice I need F families F I need some F do I have some F F, I will find some F. So, second letter will be F because I do have here families. Formula. Hey, yes. So, T, F, um, and some one O, O, one O. Do I have O here? I have O here. Oh. <laughs> okay. I need to find O. So I'm going to find something in these two newspapers. What I can use for these letters. Look at that. T. T. That's perfect. So T. O. F. So I'm gonna cutting pieces, find the pieces in in my newspapers which can give me some kind of decoration. And I will see. Hey, look at him, Tim. Ah, ah, ah. I should use his picture. Tim Allen. I actually should use his picture. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find something tasty. Mm hmm I don't see anything for oh. okay look at that you can find in in order okay I do have that oh I I will find something something the so just have a look into your newspapers if you will find something I'm gonna cut out images which I think they will go nicely with those letters female. Yes, fuck it. Yes, I'm gonna find something. So I do have cut some of the pieces, some of the words, and I also cut it with using these dies. I cut it uh, my collage sheet or master board on pieces. Uh, I use the smallest part. On the front, then in the middle, I do have just tea dyed paper, and uh, in the back, like reinforcement, I do have this one. If you watched my yesterday video, I started to use their one old envelope to kind of scrap it, so I'm continuing using that envelope. So that's cut it from the envelope I destroyed yesterday. So I do have my base layer, kind of like ish. Look how beautiful it looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it this way and <laughs> I can finish the video. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna cut... Uh, I will try to cut around the words. 
nicely and because it's you know it's newspaper newspaper it's very fragile it's not strong enough so I'm gonna be reinforcing these words M maybe not all of them but some of them with the envelope I'm gonna kind of make my a little embellishments using all these little pieces first fussy cut them out from the newspaper in some nice way hopefully decorative way then glue it on the this card the envelope and fussy cut it again and I will hope that they will look cute so I do have cut these from newspapers on the smaller pieces I also found few labels uh, on my sheet which I think I can use I do have this sheet on my uh, on buy me a coffee site so if you are interested to get some labels go to have a look link will be down below and I also cut out using this die this is Marian design die um, and I'm gonna put name in the description box as well so I do have pre-cutted the number here I do have some small labels I do have these three uh, I'm gonna reinforce these with that cardstock and I'm gonna also use distress ink I'm gonna be using today harmony uh, spectrum noir harmony line seal brown for distressing the edges of all my pieces and I do have here also my little photo album not photo album uh, postmark marks album and I think I'm gonna add here and there maybe some beautiful postmark because I just love them I will see so first I need to reinforce these with the same material with the same old envelope to make them more strong and kind of better for layering I have to bring back the old envelope which I used for these pieces and also for numbers I think I'm gonna try to distress the edges here first it's a very uh, very thin paper Just like this. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of color to the edges. And when I am with distressing, I'm gonna <laughs> probably distress all of these pieces straight away. So I do have my pieces nicely reinforced, and I really like the feeling of it now it doesn't look like newspaper paper anymore so I can start to do some layers I'm gonna get up straight away uh, some beautiful postmark I'm guessing I should keep these I guess <laughs> they are so gorgeous look at that look how beautiful postmark so if I will use this one I think I'm gonna make it somehow like this just on this two kind of like last pieces I'm gonna put here and there just one word I do have here this it's kind of like leftover from the tea dyed paper which I used for these small uh, this middle pieces so <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm gonna kind of bright the newspaper here with that 
make a little strips of embellishment and I do have here this perforated paper this is also edge from uh, printer paper this is actually edge from printer paper and that can give me another layer and texture so then even I will don't have there too many uh, too many you know some dice or fancy stuff I do believe this can look good one order or order one <laughs> I think I'm not gonna use this one not sure yeah well I do have here my little layout so now I can take a glue and glue my pieces. I do have distress all the edges. I'm not going to be distressing on this small piece. Um, not yet. I will see how it will look like. Maybe later. If I will be not happy with that. I can always add some color with the brush. So this one. Now this one. This one will be in the corner. So I think I'm gonna go from here and continue to the bottom. And I will probably don't use this today, but I can save it and maybe use it in some next day as my embellishment. Because I actually like it, I like the fonts and I like the colors. Now I'm gonna put this one here. And I'm gonna keep it this way. I'm actually not gonna stamp on it probably anything else. Uh, I will see. I'm gonna keep it this way for now. Now I'm gonna move to here. So here I can add this one. Just on the bottom. And keep it as a writing note card maybe. So here on the bottom just one small scrap. And my little decoration from the newspapers. And here, the last one. So now I do have three stages and I'm gonna uh, put a little bit of glue on these bottoms on the middle card and on the top card and just glue them here and I'm gonna keep the top open and again just here on the bottom And glue it there. There, there, there. So then I do have kind of like a mini notepad. Uh, I don't want to open it yet fully. Uh, because the glue it's not dry yet. So, so with these two here I do have uh, F, letter F. So base from card 
uh, from tea dyed paper. This is from my uh, newspaper collage paper. This February 2023 families formula four, five, and five. And for tea, oh, I should drink the tea and get here some tea bag. So I do have background, this tea dyed paper, this is from my collage paper. Travel, so I found their image uh, of this uh, sky flyer, like it's a pain. <laughs> Two, travel time. Number two, two, like 22, and number three in triangle. I think that that goes somehow together. I will see what I will use, what I will don't use, and then uh, I will show you what I have created. And here I do have my um, Rolodex notepad, mini notepad. <laughs> I don't know how to call that. This is the one I have created on the camera and it's holding now. So I do have quite nice space to write on, you know. I can write here, here, something little here, here and here. And then I just can tuck it into some pocket. Then I do have this time to travel. I'm missing here some embellishment, probably some uh, die cut number because I did use it in the next layers. This is not dry yet, so I'm gonna be careful with this one. So here I used only stamp and number two because T. And here I do <laughs> that, uh, that it's a Berlin. And I use that number two just to make sure that we are on the T. And here I do have a letter F and it's, I know it looks plain, but I think uh, with all decoration all around in the general, these decorations are kind of like what I would like to see there for now. Maybe I will add some metal embellishment later when I will make some journal and I will want to add it there. So again, this is hopefully dry already. I do have that February 2023 20, here and here I do have do have four families. So these are my <coughs> Rolodex cards from new uh, newspapers, not from news, from newspapers. I have to say I did enjoy it. I did enjoy to use my uh, master board or that collage sheet. And I do have beautiful index uh, pieces to add to some journal. So now I'm going to add it to the things I already have created. So I'm gonna add it to my little file for folder here. And I can continue in the next video. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you found some inspiration, I'm so happy. And for all those who would like to start to do some paper craft, these challenges are amazing. You can practice so many techniques. You can practice on small things. You can finish the at the day, at the one day, and all these little things can be later added to your journals. So go to check it out, go to check out all these awesome channels and definitely go to have a look. It's worth the time and the watching of all these amazing videos is awesome. It will give you so much inspiration to be creative. So once again, thank you so much for visiting me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.